Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. It's time to revisit Sensi yet again. Grab your popcorn now! If you're not familiar with Sensi, they are a MLM, multi-level marketing company, network marketing company. Flim Flam, Ponzi Scheme, Pyramid, Straw Man, Three Cup. Whatever you want to call it. And their products consist of scented things. So we're talking like wax warmers that use a light bulb, room sprays, air fresheners, scented children's products lotions, all of those types of things. Sensi has it. But they are, like I said, a multi-level marketing company, making it necessary for the consultants to recruit in order to make a livable wage. And in the training call we're reacting to today, they're talking about the secret to recruiting with Sensi. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what that secret is. But first, we need a disclaimer. <laughs> Okay, now that that is out of the way, we have one more piece of housekeeping that we need to go through. And if you are not new here, you've probably heard this at least a dozen times. So you can go ahead on down to the bar at the bottom of the screen and skip ahead to the chapter where it will say reaction starts here. Or you can go down to the description and click on the timestamp where it says reaction starts here. <laughs> However, if you are new here, please make sure you stick around and give this a listen at least one time. I will make it as quick and painless as possible. I do not blur the names or the faces of the individuals that I am reacting to in my videos. This does not mean that I am encouraging anybody to go and seek these individuals out and send them hateful comments or mean messages. Please don't do that. My content is meant to be educational, but most of all, entertaining. So let's all do our part and keep it that way. And with that, we're going to get the f into it. Tonight, we're going to talk about the secret of recruiting. And I know when we ask our downlines a lot of times what they want to hear about, they're always saying recruiting, recruiting. Like, tell me how you do it. What's your secret? How do you do this? And it's always a good subject to talk about. But tonight, we're going to talk about the secret of recruiting. That's what everybody wants to know, right? So um, I want to tell you, first of all, when I joined Sensi 13 years ago now, um, I did not have, I, I just didn't have the ambition for it. I joined simply because I wanted to be able to get my products cheaper um, I just thought it would be fun, something fun to do. I was an RN working in a pediatric clinic, and it was just something extra for me to do, make a little extra money, go get my nails done, things like that. And recruiting was not something that was on my mind. So it was, but she had to in order to even get her nails done. Had to cut it off there because if you've ever sat with me during a Sensi training and reacted with me, you might hear a similar trend happening at this point. I've noticed that almost every person that I've reacted to that is at the top of the pyramid or very close to the top of the pyramid has interestingly mentioned that when they joined Sensi, they were just joining for the discounted products and a little bit of extra money and they never really wanted to recruit anybody but then it blossomed into recruitment i was like a reluctant lead consultant i had a part a team of three and they all just kind of came to me i didn't want them i tried talking them out of joining my team then i went to sensi family reunion and i was like okay this is my opportunity here i'm gonna do some things here the month following sensi family reunion i recruited seven people in one month and prior to that i didn't even want to build a team when i joined sensi i didn't join to sell i was a kidnapper isn't that a big surprise I was a freaking kidnapper. I wasn't going to do anything. There's a lot of times somebody joins as a hobby and all of a sudden, six months later, captures that vision and starts building a team. And then that takes off and then you realize, well, shoot, if I don't get my act together, they're going to pass me and then I'm not going to get paid off of them. I don't need to build a team. I don't I don't want any part of that. But I love Sensi. I remember my first ever friend who wanted to join my team. <laughs> I remember specifically telling her, don't join my team. <laughs> Why is that? Because they realized they're not making money without recruiting. Could that be why? In my opinion, that could be why. Want to know what else I have an opinion on? Underwear. Thanks to today's sponsor, Parade, I have been able to find the most 
comfortable underwear of my life. In fact, I think I'll probably live in them for the rest of my days every day, but don't worry, I'll change them at least once a day minimum. But I can't even tell you how cool they keep me. I run very, very hot and it drives me insane, especially when these lights are on in my office. Forget it, game over. But I'm telling you, these underwear help keep me so cool. Plus, guys, gals, and non-binary folk, they are so freaking soft. I'm pretty sure they're made of something from unicorn land. But in all seriousness, these Blackberry free comfort boxer brief underwear that I'm wearing from the Betsy Johnson collection are made from Parade's new cotton. And what that material is made up of is upcycled cotton and tensile lyocell, a fiber from responsibly managed forests to create the softest antimicrobial fabric. What does that mean? Come here, lady no yeast infections. I also wanted to mention the band on the underwear. Whenever I've tried this style of underwear from other popular brands that are more expensive, by the way, the elastic band just was never cutting it. I mean, it was cutting my skin, but guys, Parade has outdone themselves. Something else that's worth mentioning about Parade, they're super affordable, unlike other popular brands out there. And if you go to their website, the models that they use are so inclusive, it feels like they're just a bunch of peers showing you what the underwear looks like on real human bodies and I cannot say enough about that. I love that so much and thank you Parade for doing that. So if you share a similar opinion with me and you think we should just live in our underwear only every single day and they should be comfortable and affordable, head over to yourparade.com and use my code SAM40, S-A-M-4-0 so they know who sent you plus you'll get 40% off site-wide. No minimum purchase required. Now styles are known to sell out pretty quickly over at Parade, so head over there as soon as possible if you want to get your hands on some new undies. And thank you again to Parade for sponsoring today's video. Back to it. Probably about eight or nine months into, let me turn that off or that will ding the whole time. Um, it was probably eight or nine months into my Scentsy journey that I all of a sudden had this person that called me and said, hey, I want to join Scentsy. And a friend told me I should join under you. And I thought, bless her heart, because I don't know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I was just a consultant and I would put an order in occasionally. And I didn't know anything about being a leader. But she joined my team. And you know what? We figured it out together because that's all being a leader is. It's figuring out how you can help that person, showing them what you know, and the things that you don't know, you learn it together, right? So, um, yes, turn those cameras on. I see Kelsey saying, turn your cameras on. We want to see your faces tonight. Show yourself. Um, so, anyway, um, what I realized after I had this person join is that I wanted more people on my team. I wanted to grow a team. I wanted to be a leader. I wanted to help other people like I had helped her to reach her, you know, her first title promotion and shooting star and all the things that she accomplished. I wanted to be able to help other people do that. So I was Why? Because you saw that first one happen and you saw the bonuses that came with it in terms of money. Is that why? It kind of makes you wonder. I was super excited about recruiting and that's what you have to be. And I'm sorry, I forgot to mute all. Here we go. Now, uh, sorry, y'all, I never run the call, so I'm, I'm a hot mess. Jacqueline does a much better job. Um, but anyway, I realized that I really had to have a desire to recruit. And that doesn't just mean, okay, well, I'm going to I'm going to ask somebody, you know, hey, do you want to join me or whatever? I had to really have a reason. Like, why did I want to grow a team? Why did I want to be a leader? Um, why did I want to have this big team and lead all these people, right? Because that it, some people think that's kind of scary. And they think, oh, wow, I don't know if I want to do that, right? But um, I realized that it takes a real desire to be a leader and grow a team. So um, most of your recruits are not going to fall in your lap. They're just not. I got lucky with that first recruit calling me and telling me she wanted to join under me. But most recruits are not going to fall in our laps like that. So we really have to work for those. Um, 
recently I had a downline. I'm not going to call her name. I don't know if she's on here or not, but um, I had a downline that sent me a message and she said, I'm so excited. I'm about to start recruiting. And I was like, that's great. You know? And she told me, she said, I'm going to try to get two recruits in a year. And at, at first I was like, maybe she's just kind of kidding, you know? And then I thought, you know what? She doesn't know that she should shoot higher than that. Because if, if as a leader, we don't tell people, hey, you need to be shooting for more than that, then they don't know that. So oh my God, it's all so twisted. Because why are they telling their downline to lead, lead more people? Why do we think that is? It's because of the money. They make money off of their front line and they make money off of their front line's front line and so on. Making it rain! So why else would you think that everybody's being pushed to recruit? It's common sense at this point, but unfortunately, a lot of people either within MLMs or being approached by people who are wanting to recruit them to their MLM, they're not aware of this because maybe they've never been in an MLM or they've never seen anti-MLM content where we kind of call this stuff out and point it out and tell you the reason behind why they're saying what they're saying. And these things are very important to know when you're looking into joining an MLM company. You want to know why are they pushing other people on their team to recruit so much if they don't want to. If that person only wanted two recruits in the year, that should have been fine. But no, dollar signs don't come without recruits. Not so you, so me the money. They think two recruits might be a huge number. That sounds big to them because it's scary to get your first recruit, right? Um, but we should be shooting to get at least two recruits every month, y'all, if you want to grow a team. So that's when I figured out, like, this is what the problem is. We just don't realize how important it is to get those recruits. And we're not dreaming big enough. We are not believing in ourselves enough. And y'all, I'm telling you, if nobody else in the world believes in you, the people you see on this screen tonight, they do. They believe in you and I believe in you and you need to believe in yourself because growing a team is what's going to grow your business. It's going to change your life and it's going to change other people's lives too. So um, what we need to be thinking about is we need to be thinking about where do we see ourselves in a year? Where do we see ourselves in two years? I mean, really stop and think about that. Where do you want your business to be one year from today? You know, do you want to be the same title you are now? Do you want to have earned an incentive trip in the past year? Do you want to make enough money to be able to pay your car payment? What do you want your business to look like in a year? What do you want it to look like in two years? And not just that, but think down the road. What do you want your business to look like five years from now when you've been hustling and doing this for a while. Because more than likely, if you're on this call, you're not a hobbyist. You're not somebody that just wants to do this for the fun of it or for the discount. At this point, you're invested. You're investing in yourself enough to get on these calls on Monday night. And at this point, you're invested in the pyramid scheme. <laughs> learn more about your business, right? So if you're willing to do that, then we know that you're not just a hobbyist anymore. You are somebody that is excited about your business and wants to do well. So um, as a thriving business owner, you've got to recruit. Recruiting is so, so important. And recruiting two to five people in a year, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to grow you a profitable business that, you know, that's going to bring you those paychecks or those incentive trips or whatever it is that you're looking for. Hmm. Interesting. You're not going to have a profitable business with only recruiting two people a year. So two people a month is what it takes to be on the edge of a profitable business, according to this top leader in Sensi. But it's not a pyramid scheme. How many times do we have to point this out in these trainings and report them to Sensi, to the FTC, before anything actually happens. When does it stop? Because they're on these team trainings every month, month after month, week after week, telling these consultants that they cannot make money unless they recruit. And that is what a pyramid scheme is. If the bulk of your money is coming from people signing up, that's a pyramid scheme. It doesn't matter that you have a product. It doesn't matter that you sell scented wax and shit like that. So we've got to get really serious about our recruiting. Um, 
I don't know if you've ever seen it or not, but Jen Aldette has a great training on her two-year plan. If you will go, and you can write this down if you'd like, if you've never seen it, I really want you to take the time to watch it sometime this week. Um, it's on the Facebook group called Discover Your Aha Moment. Her name is Jen Jennifer Aldette, and the title of the um, video is Two-Year Plan and Building a Team. Y'all, I'm telling you right now, it'll change your business. If you are ready to do this and you're ready to recruit, then you got to start investing in yourself to recruit. You've got to start watching the videos about recruiting. You've got to start doing the things. You've got to start setting goals. Um, and that is what Kelsey is going to talk about tonight. Um, I just kind of wanted to give y'all just a little synopsis of the fact that you've got to want this. You've got to really want this to be able to recruit. The secret of recruiting is all up to you. It's all up to what's in here. It's all up to how you feel and what you really want for your business. You got to really want it to recruit. It's, it's not that hard to do, but if you don't set your mind on it and be purposeful about recruiting, then it's not going to happen because they're not going to fall in your lap like that one I got lucky with. So um, Kelsey is going to jump on tonight and she is going to talk about setting goals to recruit and how to make that happen. So Kelsey. Yes. Okay, here I am. Um, I was just reading the chat because a couple of the, well, the last two comments I'm going to talk about too. Um, so goals with recruiting, which Shonda just said, two recruits per month. Um, that is such a big goal. Um, that's the main goal when it comes to recruiting, two per month. Now, do we fall short? Yes. Um, I will tell you that like between May and July, I recruited zero people, zero people. That's not from lack of trying. But that's the case with most people in Sensi and in any MLMs. And I'm going to give you some tips um, to get recruits that I use. <laughs> this should be good. I kind of, an incentive came. Our incentive started on August 1st. And sometimes it takes that kick in the pants to be like, dang, like I've tried, but have I really tried? Um, 10 join conversations per week. Now that might sound like a lot, but I can tell you that's not very many. When I- 10 join conversations per week, 10? You want people to talk to 40 people every month about joining Sensi? Have you lost your fucking mind? How many people do you think everybody knows? What are we doing? Are they standing outside Walmart and handing out their business cards and telling people to call them? That is not logical. It's not logical. The common sense is lacking. I wanna say it was my first year as a consultant. Um, I was told one day to have 10 join conversations a day, a day. And I literally took my list of 100 and I went through that list and then I made a new list. And I did that for probably five weeks, having 10 join conversations a day. Oh my God, her poor friends and family. I did this to some people. I admit it. I was one of those people in Sensi and in LuLaRoe, just willy nilly dropping in their inbox like, hey, you should join. I think you'd be great at this. I'm so sorry if that was you. Please, please forgive me. I recognize what I did. But now these people are doing it 10 plus times a week to their family and friends. This actually might have been my second year. I think I recruited like 27 people that year. Have I done it again? No. Should I? Yes. So you pick, you pick 10 join conversations a day or 10 a week. You choose where your goal falls in there because we do, we're not all the same. We do all have different goals. Um, before we even like started this call officially, uh, we were talking, I can't, with Joy, we were talking with Joy and she was talking about working a full-time job and Shonda and I were both like, oh my gosh. Shonda's done it before. I've never worked a full-time job with Sensi. So we get that all of our goals aren't going to be the same. All of our time isn't going to look the same, but having a goal is what matters. So you choose how many people you're going to talk to per week or per day, 
but you always aim for those two recruits per month. Um, so who do you know that you can talk to? Uh, just the other day, I was having another conversation with another leader and I want to say she recruited like 10 people just last month and she's already recruited like five this month. And I'm like, what in the heck are you doing? And she said, every single person that has ordered from me since August 1st, before I place their order, I tell them how much money they can get back. And it asks them if they've ever thought about doing what I do. I think I know who that is. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? And I'm like, why, why would I, why would we not all do that? Why would you not do that? It's almost you, you look at it. I mean, I look at it as a Costco wholesale account. So the other day, for example, one of my newest recruits, um, she lives in California. I live in Washington. And she asked me, how can I avoid shipping? I just ordered last week. I want to order again this week. That's $20 in shipping I paid in the last seven days. And I'm like, you join. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. And I said, yeah, you join. I said, because I bet your friends are ordering Sensi, but you're ordering it for them. And I bet your mom's ordering Sensi. And when you collect all those orders and you put them together under one, they're all going to ship to you. But if you have $350 in orders, nobody's paying shipping. Or maybe you have $200 in orders and you're paying the $10 shipping, but maybe there's 10 of you that have ordered. You're paying $1 each per shipping. Are you that desperate? They're so desperate that they are now convincing people to join simply based on the fact that they can get free shipping for their friends and family. So it takes a lot of working with your words oh is that what that game is called and figuring out um how you can present this but regardless there's always a blessing in this opportunity oh my god they're all the same cookie cutters of sensi consultants saying the same things whether it's to save on shipping or to um i saw sarah said she wants her commission to make a serious impact on her family's budget So there's all kinds of different ways that the Sensi opportunity can bless someone. Um, So then I saw someone say in the chat too that, right here, Zoom user, I've recruited 14 my first year. Only three have done anything. The others are kidnappers. Okay, I always feel like I need to address this. Sensi huns seem to be the ones that use it the most, but the the term is kidnappers, not kidnappers. They are not taking children, thank God. And what a kidnapper is, if you've never heard that term before, it is when somebody joins an MLM simply just to get the products that are included in the kit and nothing more. So that is what she means when she just said kidnapper. One out of every 10 recruits you have is going to do something. So if you have a team of 14 and you have three that have done something, that's really good. Because really, you may only have one or two. That's so sad. Could you imagine being a manager at a store? I I don't know why, but CVS popped in my head, probably because I worked there. If you were working at a CVS and you were the hiring manager and every time you hired 10 employees, one person was guaranteed to do something and the other nine were like, just, eh, we'll see what happens. That's what they're doing in Sensi. So that's another thing to remember. And It also goes for your 10 join conversations. If you're having 10 join conversations a day, you're lucky if you get one of those people that are like, yeah, sure, sign me up. Let's do it today. That's why we say ask so many people. Um, And you're planting the seed. So maybe they say, no, not right now. But um, I mean, the one that I just recruited for the shipping, I've asked her for years, you guys, years. And I don't know if it was the way I worded it, 
Or she asked her for years and then she finally saw a way for herself to weasel it in and be like, you could get free shipping if you join. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bug you to recruit more people onto your team so that I can in turn make more money. It's sick. And then they get on these training calls. These people have joined their team and they're boasting about how they finally got them to join their team. How do you think these people who are now on your team watching this training feel? Why are we not thinking that through? Or how I showed her her how she could save but she was like okay you got me let's do it so it takes time and it can feel frustrating at times um but if you're not doing it consistently you will never ever grow ever um that's why a lot of times I'll see people recruit one person and they recruited and maybe they got to lead consultant and then that one person disappears. And now what? Constantly building is what keeps you there and teaching your team to do the same thing. Um, something that I've really been focusing on when getting a new team member is really working with them in these first 70 days. Sensi gives us every opportunity as a leader to train them how to build and recruit. Um, you have sensational start. If they sell 500 PRV and recruit one person who gets active, they've earned level one versus trying to get them to sell 1500 PRV. 500 and one person who sells 200. Way easier, in my opinion, than trying to get them to sell 1500. Way easier. Um, promote to lead right now, the way our incentive is set up, you should want every single person that you recruit to at least get to lead consultant between now and January 31st, every single person, um, now, if you're not familiar how the ranking system works within Sensi, lead consultant is the first rank where you have recruits. So that is their goal to get all of their recruits to lead to have recruits. Anything under that doesn't require any kind of team under you. Teaching them to build the same way that you are helping them build, they can repeat to teach their people to build. Um, I love the I know that the sponsoring points for this incentive seem crazy high, but the other day when like after we've made it through our first month and I sat and I broke it down again, I'm like, you know, really this makes a lot of sense um, to it's, it's literally the math to show that a rising tide lifts all boats. Literally. Um, we're all, if we're all continuing to build and rise together, all of our little boats are going to come to the top. Um, I can't because all I'm picturing <laughs> is a literal pyramid of boats. <laughs> We're like, they're all rising to the top of the pyramid slowly by recruiting more and more boats. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Like, I'm hearing this, right? Are you? Um. So I love that one. Uh, so now we have all these opportunities that Sensi puts in our hands every single month. This month, we have a $40 join promo. $40. Somebody can join. $40. They get the little pumpkin warmer. They get a fragrance flower. They get three fall bars. They get the Art of Fragrance kit, which I think that thing's cool. Um, it can be confusing, but I think it's cool. Five catalogs, transition set of testers, three months of a free website. But we, whether Sensi gives us a join promo or not, we literally have them every month. Every single time you have a qualifying party, you have a $59 kit. Here's the thing. You shouldn't have to pay for a job. Don't do that. End of story. Why aren't you offering that? Why aren't you advertising that? Texting your people letting people know. I will tell you that is one thing that I always, always do. I will sit, and I know Shonda does this too, <laughs> we'll sit on a party for weeks <laughs> until someone will take that kit. Literally weeks. Um, 
I just, the party that I closed with my harvest order, I think had been open since like the beginning of July. I had a ton of rewards, but dang it. I wasn't going to close that thing until someone took the kit. Like just take the kit. That doesn't sound desperate whatsoever. Not at all. Not even a little. (laughs) It's so easy. And when you have, like, I think I had 200 and some odd dollars in host credit, give them the kit for free. What what is that $59 in host credit hurting you? What is it hurting you? It's not. What's it going to get you? Laundry love bundle and a bottle room spray. You can live without that. Because... That one person that you give that free kit to may bring you 10 rock stars in their lifetime as a consultant. Let me just put into better perspective what she just said. When you have the option to get product over a recruit, choose the recruit. I thought that it was more about the product than it was about recruiting. And that's why it's not a pyramid scheme. That's what y'all say all the time. Um, and that's the that's such an important thing to look at. And I know that so many times, and this was a hard thing for me to understand in the beginning was, oh my gosh, I'm giving away my credit. Or when I flip a party, oh my gosh, but I worked really hard for that. But when you give that host credit or you flip that party, that person who maybe didn't bring you any sales or maybe they brought you a $600 party, they're going to bring you a $600 party potentially every single month. They weren't going to have a party with you every single month. So you're getting so much more by giving more than you take. You are giving them a spot as a Sensi consultant so that you can take more in your paycheck. But okay. So bottom line here, um, two goals, 10 conversations a day to a week, two recruits per month. Will you fall short? Yes. Will you surpass that goal some months? Absolutely. Absolutely. But you have to do it. If you want this business to go anywhere, you have to do it and you have to teach your team to do the same thing. That's what I've got for you. And that's the secret, y'all, right there. That's the (laughs) secret of recruiting. Seriously, is to just go after it. Just be determined. Even if you're like me and Kelsey and you're sitting. That's so helpful. The secret of recruiting is to just do it. There you go. That's how you do it. You just do it. That's not a secret. Everyone knows that. And then you're like, I'm not closing this dang party until somebody takes this kit. Do whatever you got to do to get people on board with you. Make those contacts. Have parties. More parties mean more contacts, more new customers, more possible recruits. You know, just keep doing all the things. And consistency consistency is so important. Don't give up. I mean, every single one of us can tell you, everybody on here that's been a consultant for just a few months even can tell you, if you will stay consistent, you're going to be able to get those recruits eventually. You'll have a drought like Kelsey was talking about where you just can't get a dang person to join you. And then all of a sudden, bam, 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 you start recruiting like crazy. It's because you're planting those seeds and those seeds are eventually going to bloom if you will water them. So I know this was short and sweet tonight, but I hope okay, it helped I, y'all. And Shonda, if you have any questions, just post. Yes. Shonda, uh, can I pipe in real quick and say something? Sure. So they've just sat and told y'all all all that. So I'm going to pipe in and say, when you get a new recruit underneath you, try not to overwhelm them with every single thing that's in that book. That's the one thing that I don't do is I don't overwhelm them. When they come to me and they sign up and they're ready, you know, they want to do this. They want to, they want to try their hand at this. When they do that, all I tell them is, The first thing I need you to do is hit shooting star, which is 500 PRV in 14 days. I I put them on that track and I tell them, go find a friend that wants to do this with you. Those are the two things that I tell them. And I don't let off that. 
I don't start talking to him about certified consultant. I we could have just stopped at sell $500 worth of product. That would have been good. Thank you. I don't start talking to them about sensational start one, two, or three. I don't start talking to them about anything. I will tell them about the trip that they can earn. And my method to madness on that is, hey, if you'll just do what I'm telling you to do, you'll have you'll have points and not even know it. Just just listen to me and do what I'm telling you to do. And I'm telling you, you will earn this trip. And that's kind of what I do. I Listen to me and do what I'm telling you to do, okay? Just do it. Got a new girl right now that signed up, I think, nine days ago. And y'all, I've not hardly had to speak to her. All I did was tell her, I need you to hit shooting star in 14 days. She's done that. She's already got like two or three people that want to join underneath her right now. We're working on that. She messaged me yesterday, I think, and said, you know, I, I've hit this thing. I've hit the shooting star thing. What do I do next? I said, your next level is certified consultant, which you can do by the end of the month. And I said, I, we still need to get these people that you have that are wanting to join to join underneath you. I don't tell them anything else, y'all, because if you overload them, they're going to back off and be like, this is too much. I can't do this. And you don't want them to do that. You want them to feel confident in what they're doing. That's it. Well, you know, exactly what Alexis is saying right there. She's just making it simple. She's just, she's doing exactly what Kelsey's saying. She's just making it simple to them. Instead of saying, if you have 500 PRV and one recruit that hits 200, then you're going to hit sensational start. She's just saying, hey, this is what you need to do. You need to get your 500. Let's find somebody to do it with you. It just makes it simple. It, uh, they don't have to hear the word sensational start. They don't have to hear the word shooting star. They don't, they don't know what that is right now anyway. Just tell them the simple, this is how you do this business. Let me help you do this business and you're going to be fine. But get just keep on with your consistency. I promise you, if you are feeling frustrated because people are not joining, they're going to. You just got to keep going. Just more amazing proof that Sensi is a pyramid scheme, in my opinion, allegedly. Tell me what you think. What do you think? Do you think with this training that Sensi leans more toward a pyramid scheme than a legitimate business? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm just losing my mind a little. A palate cleanser should help. It's time for TikTok hates your MLM, but first I have a little caveat to that. I love TikTok parodies, especially when it comes to anti-MLM content, but I also realize that there's not a ton of anti-MLM parody content on TikTok, and I don't want to overuse a lot of the creators that I've already shown in my TikTok hates your MLM segment and series. So what I want to do is start incorporating like the influencer parodies as well that go hand in hand with the pyramid scheme parodies and MLM parodies and things like that. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that today we have an influencer parody TikTok. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Recording? Yep. Good morning guys. Today we're showing you our couple's morning routine. We wake up every day at the same time and give each other a big kiss. Yeah, you good? Yeah, I think that's was good. that good? Yeah, I think that was good. All right, cool. It's funny because I always look at these influencers like on TikTok and Instagram and wherever else they're posting with their short form videos with those video formats. And I think like how many takes did it take for them to just make these little clips for this video? It's got to be like a full day thing just for one TikTok. I, I don't know. If you do it, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. I think I'm just somebody who's not organized enough to do something like that. That's probably the case. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me while I talk a bunch of shit and I will see you in the next one. One.